Hey Streamlit fan, wouldn't it be nice if you could customize your Streamlit machine learning web application or data science web apps to suit your uh, custom theme or organization's brand, brand color or even dark mode? Yes, that is currently possible with the latest Streamlit update and this tutorial is going to tell you how to exactly apply dark mode or custom theme for your Streamlit application. So let's get started. To begin with, I'm going to show you a Streamlit application where there is no theme and then we are going to see how to add theme. First, we will see how to add the theme that are existing and then we'll also explore how to create our own theme. So to start with, let me quickly show you my workflow. So I've got an empty folder. Within that, I've got a simple app.py file and that app.py file has only few elements and uh, it is this. So I have a title, I've got a radio box and I've got a chart. So when I run this, this is what I get it. So this is a streamlit web application before uh, themes were introduced. So there is no theme and this is how most of the streamlit application are almost unless until somebody used a custom CSS, it used to look. But without you having to open a CSS file or anything, right now you can change the theme completely. And that's what we're going to see how to do it. So first let's stop this process currently and then let's upgrade it, upgrade our streamlit pip install okay because i'm on map pip install streamlit uh, i think you can see my screen and we are upgrading it so after we upgrade it we will run this application the same application and then we'll see how it goes so it says like um, yeah just just ignore what what is it showing so let's run streamlit run app by so once we run it we are going to see a refresh and it is indeed refreshing after it refreshes we can see there is a dark mode by default but if you want to change the dark mode let's go you can see the settings click the settings and you can say okay use system setting light or dark or whatever is the system setting the OS uh, setting so currently i'm going to leave it as dark but it is not the only theme that you can set and that's what we're going to look at the example that Streamlit itself has provided. So this is from the blog post that Streamlit has put together and they've made this application web app to show you what kind of applications or what kind of themes you can build. So you have got a light theme, which is uh, which is what we used to almost look previously, uh, any Streamlit application. Next, we are going to look at dark theme. And once you have dark theme, uh, you can set a dark theme. Next, you have a custom theme, uh, which is what we are going to learn in this tutorial to develop um, and then another different variant of custom theme. So that said, so let's first start. Okay, so if you want to have dark mode, just dark mode, let's say you don't want any custom theme. If you just want dark mode, you don't have to do anything at all. You can just set dark mode and then you can, you're, you know, you're good to go. So once again, let me repeat it. If you just want dark mode for your uh, web application streamlit, all you have to do is update your streamlit and republish your application. So you have to update your streamlit, republish your application. You will have uh, like whether you have a, um, published it on uh, Heroku or whether you have published it on um, streamlit sharing or wherever you have published it, you will get dark mode. So you don't have to do anything. So if you want a custom theme and that's what we're going to see now how to do it. So let me say I want a custom theme with the light theme. Okay. So after I select light theme, you can see that I see a button edit active theme. Maybe, you know, it's a good idea for me to increase the size of this. Yeah. So this edit active theme appears only when you are on development mode. If uh, an application is already deployed, you wouldn't see it. For example, go here, click settings. You don't see any edit. So you see system setting light and dark and then custom. So what we are going to do now is we are going to click edit active theme. Once you click edit active theme, you see five important components. What are these five important components? First, the primary color. So the primary color is what a color that you would see um, on, uh, you know, like the accent color buttons. So let me quickly go to the blog post and show you what happens. The primary color that you select is what you are going to see on all these places a radio button or button or if you have got calendar or if you have got a border lines. So this is what your primary color is going to be. The next thing, I'm sorry. The next thing that you would see background color is what you would see in the background. So if I select red as my background, so the entire apps background is going to be red. So let me quickly check. See, this is how it would look. 
so if i want a dark mode then all i have to do is click like this it's, it's, it's so terrible but yeah so let's say uh, we want uh, something you know like it's like bluish yeah i know uh, it's not it's not a, it's not an exciting theme um don't judge me by my uh, color skills but uh, i just wanted to show this so we have a background color and primary color the next is text color as it says like text color is quite easy uh, you can you can uh, you can just live with it and then the second background color secondary background color is when you have got a sidebar so uh, when you have uh, when you have got a sidebar st sidebar and other widgets the secondary background color is used to there currently in, in in the application that we are showing there is no sidebar so we can just leave it as it is so and again you have got three font families and serif serif and uh, monospace so let me go ahead with monospace and at this point i can say copy theme to the clipboard let me copy it and then go to the application let me open a new file and show you what is it so basically whatever you have done is been captured in this file and what is this file this file this file actually indicates what's your primary color what's your background color what's your secondary background color what is your text color and what is your uh, font space okay so and what do you want to do uh, what we actually want to do is we want to put this file inside a folder uh, called dot streamlet which is hidden folder and inside config dot toml file and that's what we are going to do so currently if you see uh, this application is like this but if you rerun it yeah uh, currently it's using a custom theme because like we, we were editing uh, the theme but after we do that we cannot actually uh, get that theme because that, that that theme was like temporary so now what we can do is um, we have to go to the streamlet so currently you cannot see any any place where i've got something called streamlet so let me sorry let me stop running this clear it up so i'm going to say mkdir and my folder name is streamlet so right now you can see i've got a folder called streamlet the next thing is i have to create a new file uh, called streamlet so i can i can either uh, say uh, i want to create a new file or you know the easiest thing is you can create this save it when i say save it i have to say streamlet config.toml file and i want to save it within streamlet themes replace okay i'm sorry i think that i have messed up the name config.toml yep we can see the config.toml is there but uh, i want it inside this so we can just simply move it i mean like you can again use vim or any editor to do the same thing but uh, here i'm just simply using it once i am done with that so right now i'm going to rerun the streamlet application again what i'm going to do is run the streamlet application once i run this let's open this it's running then we'll see once it's you know it, it's initiated uh, we we should ideally see this uh, getting refreshed It's taking quite a bit of time to run it probably because my machine is it's maxing out let us run and uh, we can see the application refresh so as you can see um, after we change something here we also see that the application has changed updated with our current theme so it's still running but uh, once it stops running uh, we can actually see uh, the latest font and uh, the latest app architecture uh, the color uh, combination so the main thing that you have to keep in mind is your primary color background color secondary color text color font what is the font that you want to use so now what we can do is uh, we can try to find out a theme a theme um, of uh, some some brand 
like uh, le let's uh, like if you want to see for example if you take kaggle uh, as an example so kaggle has got a bunch of color accent uh, so if you want to if you want to develop a kaggle theme um, let me just go open or let, let, let me just even start with uh, some some companies uh, theme microsoft color theme so we would we would actually get the color uh, details so once we get that then we can start applying that here and then while we are changing it there we would also see uh, that uh, that that thing that we are uh, changing reflecting here um, on the actual let's just take this picture as our reference let's start with the primary color so we want a primary color okay so i'm not saying that i'm exactly making microsofts but i'm using those primary colors to show you or you can also make it for your own organization with your primary accent secondary accent f3 4 f1 c is going to be my primary color and then my i want my background color to be grayish so i'm going to say seven four seven four seven four um and secondary background color i'm going to just leave it as it is because i'm not using any sidebar or you know it doesn't hurt so let's let's hit uh, secondary color is uh, f f b a o one okay and the text color i want it to be uh it's a green once again a weird choice so i think i would rather put yellow color there and then finally i'm going to settle with uh sorry the moment i save it you can actually see so i've not saved it so when i'm going to save it you would see the app getting updated so let me save it so right now i'm saving it So after I save it, it is asking me the source file has changed. Should I rerun it? I'm saying, okay, you can just go ahead and rerun it. And after we rerun it, I mean, ideally the code, uh, great. See, it has, it has worked. So we have picked, uh, we have picked uh, the, the, the file uh, from, uh, I mean, um, like even I can give mono space and see. If I change it to monospace, yes, and save it. It says, yeah, rerun it, and I can see that uh, the color color would have changed. What whatever I'm giving as my primary color, whatever I'm giving as my secondary color, uh, those things change. So basically, we we managed to you know just go to Microsoft's website. Or take Microsoft's logo and find out the color that are available uh, in their logo or accent uh, pick up that and then add it to your config.tyml file which is supposed to be a file that uh, is present within a hidden folder called dot uh, streamlit and I just showed you how you can create it and once you are done that uh, once you are done with that so you are good uh, with um, with the latest ap application so when you deploy it uh, everything that you would see would be there except um, uh, for somebody to edit settings settings so we have got uh, let's click the theme so we have got a light dark and custom theme so if you do not have a config.toml file and you if you publish the application with the latest application you would get um, a streamlit application which has light and dark mode but if you want a custom theme then you need to make sure that uh, you you create a custom file put it inside the hidden folder and then publish it then you would get the custom theme as well so now anyone can actually you know um, click light then get light theme and then uh, click dark uh, and then you know like custom theme and then get that so i'm not saying my theme do, does look good but um, this is exactly how you would create custom theme and then start um, start actually making your streamlit applications 
look actually beautiful and especially for somebody who is uh, may, maybe it may not be uh, very useful uh, if you are working only on hobby project you can like show up with your dark color but if you have uh, built streamlit application for your organization probably the first question that you might have got is how can we align this with our branding or theme and this is exactly uh, what a lot of uh, application developers used to struggle with create custom css but at this point you don't have to touch a single line of css code i mean even though you're just using hex color uh, you don't have to really touch any single line of css code and still you can actually make your theme uh, uh, light dark and custom theme and and remember you can have only one custom theme you can either have light or dark or one custom theme and that is um, really possible and simple with uh, the latest streamlit update so i encourage all of you to go check it out and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise go to discuss.streamlit.io uh, so where uh, you can you can actually learn the answers for the questions that you post i hope this video was helpful to you in uh, making uh, beautiful and uh, appealing or branded streamlit applications let's spread the word of open source and then uh, thanks to the streamlit team for putting together this very uh, nice blog article and also the awesome update i really enjoy it i hope you also enjoy this update and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise stay safe see you